Hey, hi. I'm Chris. Hey, Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out these flying insects and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, how do insects fly? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a spray bottle, a clear jar, and an adult. Warning, the following experiment deals with a venomous animal that may be deadly to some people. Try at your own risk. Do you have a wasp in your house? Well, I know the feeling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go grabbing the newspaper, I'm gonna show you how to safely catch the wasp, and at the same time, you can observe insect flight right in your own home. So don't kill it, remember. It got trapped in your home, and if you were trapped, you wouldn't want to be killed either. All right, grab yourself a spray bottle and fill this all the way up with regular water. Now, wait until the wasp is in a safe place, like in your window, and then you're going to get your spray bottle, and you're going to spray the wasp. Now, get yourself a clear jar with a lid. Make sure you have a lid, because man, if you don't got it, <laughs> you are gonna be underlaying it out of there, buddy. <laughs> now, carefully place the jar over the wasp. Now, wait until the wasp crawls inside the jar. Then, quickly put the cap on top. Now, check that out. Not only can you observe the wasp, but you can actually watch as the wasp flies inside the jar. Now, once you're done observing your wasp, you're gonna take it outside and let it go. Once outside, make sure the wasp is in the bottom of the jar, then quickly remove the lid and get out of there. Don't worry, the wasp will find her way out and then fly away. Now that's pretty wicked cool. So, how do insects actually fly? And why does spraying the wasp with water stop the wasp from flying? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Most insects, such as bees, wasps, and moths, all create flight the same way. Muscles inside the thorax of the insect squeeze the thorax quickly, which causes the wings to flip up fast, creating low pressure and allowing the insect to fly. Dragonflies don't squeeze their bodies to create wing movement, but has specialized muscles that control the wings. These muscles evolve because these type of flying insects are predators. Dragonflies can't actually hover, but combined with a good air current, can fly in one area. The reason insects can't fly when you spray them with water is because their wings become too heavy, so their wings can't move fast enough to create flight. Insect flight evolved from the gills of primitive aquatic insect ancestors. These primitive insect ancestors swam through the water and got oxygen out of the water using gills. Some of these ancestors used their gill slits to help them move through the water faster. As these gill slits got longer and longer, they eventually became long enough to allow these ancestors to glide for a distance over the water. As these primitive wings got lighter and lighter, it allowed the first insects to take flight. So now you know more about insect flight. You know, being able to observe insect flight right at home is why science is so cool.